Hello guys, I hope you're doing okay. So today I will show you how to make this uh, animation. A lot of people ask me to do a breakdown or a tutorial on this animation. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I will do uh, two parts for this uh, two videos. I mean for this animation. The first video will be about uh, this uh, animation. How we're gonna make this uh, ray modifier or uh, this instance move with uh, with uh, the arrow. See when. Uh, when the arrow hits uh, those bars, uh, they will come out like this in the y-axis. We're gonna do this in this uh, video and the next video I will show you how to make uh, this random material and how you can, uh, how you will make this uh, uh, this material right, uh, right here and uh, those all materials in one uh, in one instance. So uh, let's start a new project. Okay, let's move this aside. And uh, let's start a new project, guys. So we need to make uh, a cube like this. Scale it like this. And scale it like this. Okay, let's duplicate this. Like this. And let's duplicate it one more time. Like this. I I'm gonna tell you what is this. So the first one... Uh, this is will be our bar or our base mesh let's call it bar base and the second one this is will gonna be the big bar instagram maybe <laughs> and the last one this is will be our arrow like this uh, let's model our arrow first like this like this and like this and uh, this is our arrow it's a little bit uh, big okay uh, apply the scale and we can bevel this uh, let's apply the scale first let's bevel this and this we need to make something to this before we go to the to the other stuff we need uh, two shape keys for this uh, let's bevel it first so it's gonna be a little bit smooth I think uh, did we apply the scale? it doesn't matter, okay let's uh, add two shape keys like this and go to the shape key uh, number one and uh, go to the edit mode and press like this now if we play with this value, see Okay, guys. Now let's uh, move this aside because we don't need it right now. We need only this. And so, guys, how we gonna do the, the this effect is by using geometry nodes. And let me tell you, I tried a lot of different ways to make uh, this effect, but uh, it didn't work for some reason. I tried uh, a displace array with displace modifier, and uh, it didn't work because. Uh, I, I didn't have a control of the texture that I will explain in the second video or second part. So let's go to the geometry nodes. And it's very easy guys, I will show you everything and don't worry about it. You will understand everything. Let's add a new uh, plane. And we're gonna put our geometry nodes on this plane. So let's uh, press select the plane and press new and hit this button. So we pin this geometry nodes uh, that we will not uh, lose it like this and we're gonna delete this group input and we need uh, a, a node that called uh, mesh line so basically wh what mesh line do is just a line with a lot of points we have like uh, 10 points in this line okay so what we need to do is put our uh, our object or this bar to those points so we have uh, like uh, like an array modifier you know like that so what we need is uh, an, uh, an node that called the uh, instance on points our mesh uh, line is a lot of points so we need an instance on point uh, node so uh, to to uh, now now, uh, now we can't see anything because our instance we need an instance uh, node to, to here to connect it uh, here so let's uh, Let's bring our uh, bar base, drag it right there, and put and uh, connect the geometry to the instance. 
see now how are we uh, how we can see now our, uh, our array so we can uh, we can control our array from here from the z uh, from the z offset so let's uh, bring it a little bit down like this okay guys see how it's uh, now we can control our array like this and we can uh, control the count like uh, you can go up or down uh, i think we need like 20 20 it will be enough for our animation and uh, okay guys now we have our array now how we gonna control this array to move uh, we need it to uh, like if every uh, single uh, bar that move in uh, in its own and uh, don't affect uh, other uh, other bars we need uh, we need a node that called set position let's uh, let's see now connect uh, the set position to geometry and uh, like this you know and if we move now on the z let's hide our uh, base first because we don't need it right now if we move uh, on the z axis see now how everything move if we move on uh, the y axis see how everything moves now if we move on the x axis everything moves but uh, what we need is only uh, one part that uh, that moves the, in uh, this uh, direction so we need an and, and some sort of control so let's add an empty and we're gonna give this empty the control to move each part uh, alone so uh, how we gonna do that we're gonna need uh, let's uh, do like this we're gonna need a a node that called mesh line do you remember this node guys it's the same node right here and let's give it a, a count the same count of 20 and let's uh, you see this position uh, uh, this uh, position of the z uh, set it to zero so we don't have a problem uh, next uh, when we put the next uh, node so we need uh, we need our empty so let's drag it right there and let's connect our empty to this uh, uh, let's connect uh, the location to the start location so when we move the, the empty this node knows uh, the location of the, our empty so uh, we need another node that called the proximity or geometry proximity so uh, let's uh, what is it geometry proximity okay and let's set the mesh to target and see guys we said that our mesh is a point so our geometry proximity uh, here we are uh, we have faces so we need to change this to points if we set it the faces uh, it never work guys we need to set it to points and we need another node call it map range uh, map range like this guys and we need to plug this uh, this dense, uh, distance to the value and we gonna uh, we gonna modify some values light, later uh, when I show you the effect and I will explain this uh, in a minute and now uh, we said if we uh, if we move in uh, this node if uh, we we try to move something it uh, the complete array will move uh, every part in this array uh, will move like this see but if we plug this right uh, right in the offset see now how how we can control this uh, the, the position of those uh, individual uh, bars with this empty but uh, it like it moves in every direction see it's not stable and it's not uh, the effect that we want so to correct that we need uh, we need another node so we need another node that called combine uh, x y and z why we need this node guys so uh, if we plug this map uh, range to here to the offset it will move every every single uh, every single one of those axes it will move this and move this and move this but we need only the y axis we need only to move in the y axis so we need to connect this to here and we have now a control to plug uh, our uh, map range to every uh, single uh, single axis individually so uh, we need to plug it in here in the y axis so we can control only this see guys we can control only uh, the y axis if uh, the empty hits the the position of the the bar it will move only in the the y axis but we need a little bit of uh, let's hide this we need a little bit of uh, of adjustment to uh, to get our effect so let's go here to the map range and uh, let's uh, set this to smoother steps like this and let's uh, bring this down uh, 
let's move it uh, let's set all to zero like this so we can see better now let's uh, let's play with this with these values until we get our effect we need to move only uh, one uh, only one at a uh, time so uh, let's bring it the empty right here so we can see the effect better and now we need to adjust these values so uh, our empty is only moving in the in the uh, in the y axis so let's see like this like this I think now we we have our effect but it's a little bit uh, see now it's uh, it moving uh, a lot of uh, bars in the same time so let's scale this a little bit down like this now it move only one uh, one uh, bar at uh, at uh, each time see like this so you need to play with this value it's not uh, like a fixed uh, a fixed value for everyone you know you need to uh, to play with those values those three values until you hit uh, your uh, desired effect so i don't have even in my first project i didn't uh, use those values so it's not a f like a fixed value for everyone you need to play with those values and uh, to get this effect okay guys now you have our uh, now we have our uh, our control and our effect so what we're gonna do now it's uh, let's move this uh, let's move this arrow in the middle like this and let's bring it right here see guys and let's rotate it a little bit like this and what we're gonna do is to uh, select our arrow and select our empty and parent our arrow to the empty now if we move the empty the arrow move with it like this see guys and let's move the arrow a little bit down like this I think it's good see now now what we're gonna do guys it's very easy let's go to the animation tab we're gonna we're gonna make our empty here set a keyframe right there in the Y axis and do like 20 frame and go here and set a keyframe right there and go to the 60 and go like here set keyframe there and go like in the 80 and set a keyframe right here and let's see now if we play our animation see how it's working right now guys and if you want uh, like a slow uh, slow animation right here uh, you will uh, like duplicate this keyframe like this see now and let's put another keyframe uh, here and duplicate it like this and let's put another keyframe right here and duplicate it like this and let's see right now see how it's uh, going smooth guys it's going slow and uh, in, th in the beginning it will go slow and then it will uh, be very fast and you can adjust those key frames uh, like you want let's set this like to only 100 frame or 80 frames okay now let's go to our instagram bar and let's uh, let's put our cursor right there and let's move uh, this in here and let's do this like this apply the scale and let's uh, go to the shape keys let's go frame. and let's animate this put this to one and go here and put this to zero again let's see now okay guys now we have we have our effect but the problem here see uh, this uh, we need to hide this uh, this uh, window or this bar we need to hide it uh, in some way so we don't see it in the first time see now guys need to hide it so we uh, well, how we gonna do that we're gonna do that by using this uh, I think uh, a lot of people don't know about this modifier it called the mask modifier and we need a vertex group let's uh, first assigned a vertex group for this mask to work so let's go here 
group select all your vertices and press assigned now let's go to the modifier and let's add a mask modifier and let's select our group and let's set this to smooth and let's see now if our uh, works or no see how it works now okay let's go here and let's uh, set this threshold to like one press like there and when we when we hit uh, the arrow here let's say this to uh, let's set this to zero like this see now how, how it will work see we can't see it right now and that's uh, a good so like this and see guys do you see guys the effect right now okay that's it guys this is uh, how i made this effect and uh, there is a lot of things in the shading in the shading uh, uh, part we will discuss it and we will uh, i will show you how to uh, randomize your uh, materials and uh, randomize uh, your uh, effects uh, like i show you in the uh, in the video let me show you how, what i'm talking about i will show you how to set uh, these colors and write, uh, randomize this part of colors and this part of colors and this part and they will show you how to make uh, how to make this uh, this part uh, disappear until the arrow uh, hits it let's see how uh, this effect see when the arrow hits it it will uh, glow and uh, we will see a different material or different texture uh, for this uh, from this so in this we have a random person but uh, in this i have my uh, logo so i will show you this in the next video i hope you learned something today and uh, you know like subscribe and comment and uh, see you guys thank you